Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create waypoints and we will learn how waypoints will work inside InVector. So, uh, in the last video, one problem was that our player was not detecting the uh, enemy uh, when he is shooting. So, for solving that issue, we will select our player and we will go to uh, we will go to this uh, shooter manager actually this one uh, v shooter manager and then we will select damage layers and inside damage layers we have this damage layer we will select this damage layer and we will also select the enemy here okay so enemy so this is important so now if we play the game hopefully the player will detect the enemy and he will shoot and kill the enemy so let's see okay so now you can see that uh, we have player and if we shoot the enemy hopefully it will affect by our shooting so let's see yeah so you can see and we can kill the enemy and here you can see that uh, our enemy is running away from player okay so now finally he is killed so that's nice now we will see that how we'll create waypoint system so for waypoint we can uh, just go to invector ai controller components and then new waypoint area so when we will cre create a new waypoint area here you can see waypoint and here we have two options one is hard key where you can see that we have shift plus left mouse click to create a waypoint, uh, a single waypoint, and control plus left left mouse click will create patrol point. Okay, so patrol point is actually the sub point for waypoint, and if we want that our enemy moves cer to certain waypoint, and then he patrol from one point to another point and then again he will go to another waypoint so for that purpose uh, we can create patrol points as well for uh, uh, changing the position we can press shift and right mouse click we can change the position of uh, uh, that waypoint also we can press control plus left right mouse click to change the position of uh, the patrol point so now we will click on enter edit mode and now we can create our waypoint so for example if we want to create a new waypoint we can click shift uh, sorry if we can press shift and click so now you can see that we have created a waypoint but here on the right side you can see that we are out of nav mesh because we didn't have bake or environment for navigation okay so for enabling navigation uh, for ai enemies we have to bake our environment for nav mesh okay uh, so for that purpose first we will bake our environment so i will just delete this node and we will select our environment and this is our city environment we can just uh, i will just check that uh, which element is selected exactly and actually the whole environment is selected i think and inside this we have these cubes etc yeah so that's fine we can select uh, city environment and we can select static okay and i will just click on yes children as well so the child objects will be static as well and now we can select window navigation and actually new uh, uh, in new versions uh, navigation is under ai huh, here navigation so now we are on navigation we can select bake and here we can click on bake so it will start baking our environment and you can see that now our environment is fully baked and the blue area is that where our enemy can move uh, absolutely right okay so now we can select uh, waypoint area and uh, in the waypoint area we can select uh, edit mode we can press shift and 
click and now you can see we don't have any error if we press control and then click then it will create a patrol point okay so we don't need a patrol point right now and we will learn later on so we can press shift and click we can press shift and click and you can see here we have different waypoints we can press shift click shift click and here shift click so we have created this waypoint system okay for every waypoint if you will see the waypoint we can just move this waypoint by pressing shift and right click okay right click like this we can change the position of current waypoint for every waypoint we have certain options so for example if we select waypoint 1 you can see that we have random patrol point we also have time to stay so for example if you want our character to stay on uh, this uh, waypoint for two seconds we can select two okay also here we can see this area radius so what it means is that if we change this blue, blue point it will see towards this way, uh, this uh, uh, way okay and then it will move to next waypoint so for example for waypoint 2 we change this uh, arrow towards uh, sorry where it is yeah so if we move it here uh, then on second waypoint he will our uh, character will see towards that area okay also we can change the stay time of stay we we can make it three we can move to waypoint three and let make it same we can move to uh, four and here we can just uh, sorry i want to uh, yeah rotate it like this and like this you can set up all the waypoints okay so now uh, uh, let's change these waypoint to three 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 okay uh, all are three so now we will select our character the enemy and in waypoint we will drag drop this waypoint area and now if we and also we can uh, select random starting point and if we want to start the waypoint from first point we can disable it okay random starting point we will just make it disable so now if you play the game you will see that our enemy will follow the waypoints and he will stay on each waypoint for three seconds so let's wait for some seconds so now you will see that uh, yeah so you can see our enemy is moving and on the first waypoint he will stay uh, for three seconds hopefully and I don't know why he didn't stay yeah he didn't stay okay actually and he returns back without a stay and because we will check it that why it happens uh, so if we select waypoint area and uh, it's valid and if we have to select this uh, time to stay two seconds maximum visits rotate to area radius yeah okay no uh, we don't need it for time and actually it should wait for three seconds on each waypoint but uh, I don't know why it just randomly walking around and we will fix this issue in next videos don't be worry about that and I will check that what mistake we are doing here so so let's see it again and he's walking and actually in scene view if we analyze it you can see that he will walk around the waypoints also you can see that uh, he is moving from waypoint 5 4 and then he is moving towards 5 and yeah because we didn't 
have set up the radius and other things okay so he's working around these waypoints also is not coming towards waypoint 7 and 6 maybe due to some limitation yeah now you can see he just wait for some seconds here on waypoint uh, waypoint 2 in a right direction but uh, for certain reasons he yeah some for some uh, waypoints there is only 0 seconds 0 0 0 yeah actually on these waypoints we have only 0 time to stay that's why so let's add it 3 for these waypoints as well just for testing purpose and now in live view you will see that it may stop for some seconds on each waypoint but unfortunately not okay so no problem we will fix this issue in future videos so that's it for waypoints in next video we will move further goodbye